Alright guys, welcome to this video, we're ranking all planes again. There's been three more planes since the last video, so I felt like we need another one. I know we're on about four or five so far, but you know, gotta keep up with it. So next on the list is the Mustang. So here's the starter plane. So you can see he's got like three little machine guns here. It's got 650 HP, which is really low for all these, it's the lowest out of all of them. And it goes 226 miles an hour, which is slow. So as you see, the only use for it really is uh, jumping out of it and definitely not landing on the wire. So in other words, the Mustang is a piece of shite, but don't forget that one cocky kid who plays War Thunder for a living. So they're, they're insane with stuff like that. Yeah, anyway. Next on the list is the Stuka. I would like to rank it higher, but it's just that it's a World War II plane that puts it down. But this bomb is insane. It's an insane bomb, this. It can instant kill any tank if you land your hits right. And it does this really nice dive in sound. I think everybody knows it, to be fair. And then you can even drop it right there. Even though I did nothing. And now we've got to wait again. So it's got these machine guns here. It's got 800 HP and goes 226 miles an hour, like they all do. This one does have a co-pilot gun, you can see it there on the back. Yeah, but I think the main purpose of it is that it scares the shit out of anyone in a tank. Alright, that's on the list is the B-22 Osprey. So I would like to put it higher, but obviously it's got no pilot-controlled guns, so it can't really handle itself as a plane. So it does have four oil barrel holders, which makes it just like the Super Stallion. So this has 1500 HP. It's got a top speed of 269 miles an hour. It's got a very mounted gunner, so if you've got any friends, you can use that. Uh, yeah, it's also got a VTOL, so you can just sort of do this when you go into someone's base. Just do that. Alright, next we've got the Spitfire. As you can see, it's got two machine guns and then two Browning machine guns. So they're, they're really, really powerful. Uh, it's only got 750 HP, but the firepower really makes up for it. So it's a World War II plane, it's really vulnerable to missiles, so if this guy sees me, then I'm basically dead, so I've got to hit first. So to be fair, it is good at killing tanks, because the machine guns are really powerful, but obviously it can just be one hit, or hit by missiles. But I did a decent amount of damage, not as much as I would have wanted it to, but, you know, good enough. I don't know what I'm being shot by. Oh, that. Some AA here. Uh, yeah, I'm better off just ejecting right now. Alright, next is the B-29. So the reason this is like higher than everything else is because of its mad health, 1700 HP. That's like the same as and the old Abrams X, I think it's the same as a T-90 now. It goes 241 miles an hour, which is faster than the others. It's got 12 bombs, which is like the same as like an A-10s and stuff. And 5 AI powered machine guns. So we'll just go and show that to you now. There's a DeLorean, even lots onto DeLoreans, and nothing lots onto DeLoreans. And it can actually do full barrel rolls as well, which is really funny. It can survive one tank hit and a lot of missiles by the looks of it. But this might kill it. It didn't even kill it. All of them and it didn't even kill it. That's how powerful this thing is. But yeah, I'm dead after that. Two AAs on you. It's, you can't really survive, but usually you can survive. I think a full Patriot like Arsenal can kill you. Alright, now I've got the MiG. And the MiG is really overrated in my opinion. Like, I used to use this. I actually used to main this for a while. Uh, but yeah, it's only got 750 HP. Uh, it's got a 30mm auto cannon, which is quite powerful to prefer. Not as powerful as a Spitfire, though, I will say that. Spitfire's way better. It goes 301 miles an hour. I think the main disadvantage of this is it's only got air lock ons and they do about 180 damage each. So it's not the best dogfighter because the machine gun isn't really the best and the lock ons don't do that much damage compared to like an F 14. An F 14 does more damage but less missiles. So I would prefer that, really. Just to be clear, it'd take about 5 missiles to kill an F 14. But obviously, you can fire them like hit by like this. You can obviously do that, but there's no one in that, sadly. But yeah, most things can one hit, and it's just not, it's just generally not that good. I think when I did ranking all vehicles, which you should watch, by the way, link on screen now, uh, I did actually rank the B-29 higher than the MiG, but I feel like the MiG's a jet, so I feel like that just kind of puffs it up a bit. And it actually does have flares as well. It's the only one on the list so far, except for the B-22. Right, this is when we start getting the good planes. So now we've got the Phantom. This has got, I always said it's a bit like an F-14. It's got a 20mm auto cannon. It's got 800 HP and it goes 306 miles an hour. It's got two lock-ons, but they do terrible damage. 150 they do. And it's also got two napalm bombs. No other plane in the game has this. So these are really interesting, so I'm going to show them you now. Here we go. I pressed B instead of B, of course I did. There you go, you watch what that does, it makes a big line of fire there. You've not missed them on the guy. 
because he moved definitely. There we go, we killed the guy. Eventually. So yeah, that's really all I've got to say for the Phantom. I think what would be really cool is like a third person slow motion like view of your kill so you can see what it looks like. That'd be really sick. Oh, that was close. So now I've got the F-16, one of the newest ones. So we've got a 20mm auto cannon, which you can see here. It's basically like an F-14, so I think it's a bit better. Uh, it's also got four air lock-ons. I think they do about 200 damage each, if I remember right. It's also got two bombs, which is uh, pretty good. Kind of like a reverse A-10 in a way. It's got 800 HP, and it goes 309 miles an hour. And it can also kill a shield pretty quick, as you can tell. Right, now I've got one of the first jets in the game. Oh. What the hell's going on there? So the F-14 is one of the best dogfighters in the game, in my opinion. So it's got 800 HP, goes 311 miles an hour. It's got four general lock-ons, which do 246 damage, apparently. Uh, and it's got a 20 mm auto cannon, so it's generally just really good. Anything, really. Good at everything. Go on, let's try it. Oh, we nearly did it. Nearly did it. Never mind. Alright, next on the list is the A-10 Warthog. It's got to be one of the best in the game, it's got to be. It's got this 30mm Gatling gun, it absolutely shreds. Not so good on planes from a distance, but it is on ground vehicles. It's got two air lock-ons to do the same damage as I'm making. It's got four bombs, that's so pretty good at attacking shields. I'll just show you here. Look at that, that's just destroyed a whole shield there. It's got 950 HP, which is really high actually. And it goes 270 miles an hour, so it's pretty slow. But to be fair, it is really good, it's amazing. I used to main the A-10 before I bought the F-35. Alright, next on the list is the Eurofighter Typhoon. It's one of the new vehicles added in the game, and it is a lot better than we thought it would be. So it goes 331 miles an hour, which is the same as the F-35, so it's the tied fastest vehicle in the game. So it's got 800 HP, which is like the base HP for planes, but I think F-14's got the same. It's got 27mm auto cannon, and it's also got four air lock-ons and two ground lock-ons. This means you can lock onto both at the same time. That'd be a bit complicated though, I'm trying to press F and T at the same time. But it's better than just like six general lock-ons really, because you can fire both at once really. If you think about it, I can just press T and F at the same time, fire two at a time. Alright, next on the list is the Harrier. I'm totally not saying this because I'm British, but it is really good. I think if you watched my other video the other day, I think it was on like leaks for the Osprey or something like that. Uh, but I was saying, damn, the Harrier's good. I forgot how good it was because I've been using the F-35, but it is really, really good. It's got two 25mm uh, auto cannons. Four lock-ons, which is like same as an F-14s. It has 800 HP, same as an F-14 again. And it goes 291 miles an hour, which is pretty slow. But, uh, it really cares. It's also weirdly quiet as well, which is good. Another thing it has is VTOL, which is only on the F-35 and the Osprey. There we go. Vertical takeoff on landing. That's what it's used for. But if I didn't have the F-35, I would definitely be using the Harrier. I watch this on a tank now. Watch this. That just did a thousand damage to it, probably more. So, th so that thing's gonna be like thirty percent or something, and someone's just javelined it. So I feel bad. They go look, it's at about thirty percent, and the guy just nicked my kill. Nice. Right, so I think it was obvious, but the top of the list is the F thirty five. It's expensive game pass. I think it's like when I bought it, it was two thousand five hundred, but I think it might have dropped by now, which I'm not very happy about. So better do something about that war tycoon. Uh, so, yeah, it's got a 25mm Gatling gun. Yeah, it's got six lock-ons, which do 240 damage, same as an F-14s. Uh, it's got four bombs. Which, what's special about the bombs, though, is you can hover and drop the bombs, because you've got VTOL. Right, so here we go, I'm ho hovering with the shield there. You can just press B, 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 spam it. And look at that, it just drops on there. I know we did it with the A-10, but we're just better to hover and drop them, isn't it? Like, say if you're attacking like a tank or something, if you're on top of it, it can't hit you. It's also got 1200 HP, which means you can tank a tank hit. Tank a tank hit. That's weird. And it goes 331 miles an hour, so it just beats out every plane and everything, really. See, so yeah, them, them missiles are really good against tanks. Like, really, really good. <laughs> just about got. Oh, I didn't get it. Always fun to piss off your friends, always very funny. So that's the end of this play ranking video, there's a, there's a lot of them, there's about 14 of them, so these videos are getting longer and longer to make every time. So please subscribe, and then you'll see some more updated ranking videos whenever a new vehicle comes out. And thank you to all of our channel members, which I'll be putting on screen now. Or I should really be saying thanks to Fred for gifting 15 of them in a stream.